Today, let me introduce you to a must-visit place, the Kyoto Imperial Palace. If you say, oh, I already know about the Kyoto Imperial Palace, you still don't fully understand the highlights of the palace. Let me, Shizuku, thoroughly explain them to you. From the nearest station, Subway Marutamachi Station's Exit 1, it is a short walk to the closest western gate of the Kyoto Imperial Palace, Ainomakiguchi Gate. The gate in this video is the Sakaimaki Imperial Gate, which is more central. Immediately upon entering and to the left, there is the site of the Kujo Residence, which is connected to the glory of the Fujiwara family. During the Meiji Restoration, the Kujo family also moved to Tokyo, and almost all of the buildings were demolished. Currently, only the tea room and the strolling garden Kujo Pond remain. This is the main street leading to the Imperial Palace, and it's quite wide. You can see the Emperor's former residence, Dairi, in the distance. Although the Emperor has moved to Tokyo, many people in Kyoto still think the Emperor is just on a short trip to Tokyo. A wooden sign reading Gyakadu Trace is erected. It is said that in the Edo period, on this land, the Sento Imperial Palace was located, where the 111th Emperor, Emperor Gozai, resided after his abdication. Gradually, you can see the gate more clearly. This is the Kenryaimon, considered the main gate located to the south of the Kyoto Imperial Palace. This gate is only for the use of high-status individuals such as the Emperor, Empress, and foreign dignitaries. The Kenryaimon is characterized by its solemnity, giving it a different atmosphere from the other gates. It is also the starting point for the parade of the Aoi Matsuri and Jidai Matsuri, known as Kyoto's three major festivals. Upon entering from the Kenryaimon, you will find the Shushinden, the highest ranking hole. It is surrounded by beautiful white walls and red pillars. In front of the Shushin Den is a garden maintained with white sand, and on the left and right are Tachibana and cherry trees respectively. The enthronement ceremonies of the emperors of the Meiji, Taisho, and Showa eras were conducted here. You cannot enter the inside of the Shushin Den, but it is still a popular tourist spot because of its beautiful appearance. The Kyoto Imperial Palace is open to the public all year round without the need for prior application. Besides free viewing, guidance in Japanese, English, and Chinese by staff is conducted several times a day. If you have time, let's also visit another imperial palace within the Kyoto Jiyoen, the Sento Imperial Palace. The Sento Imperial Palace is the residence of the emperor who has abdicated, and it was built in 1630. The viewing of Sento Imperial Palace is limited to a certain number of people. From around 11 a.m. on the day, numbered tickets with specified viewing times are distributed on a first-come first-served basis, and the reception ends as soon as it is full. Something to confirm your identity is required. In each palace, there are police officers of the Imperial Guard headquarters. The palace becomes completely dark at night, but they are always patrolling and protecting the security. Thank you for your hard work. As you proceed while looking at the Sento Imperial Palace on your right, there is the Kyoto State Guest House. 
The Kyoto State Guest House opened in 2005, and it is a facility built to entertain dignitaries and guests from abroad. It is a modern Japanese style building that incorporates traditional Japanese architectural techniques, and a space integrated with a beautiful garden is its feature. It is open to the public by advance reservation. The palace at dusk is wonderful. Walking while lost in thought, worries just blow away. Every year on October 22nd, the Jidai Matsuri is held in the fall, and the procession that proceeds along the central boulevard is a masterpiece. About 2,000 people dressed in costumes from each era create a living historical picture scroll, continuing to Heian Shrine. And the palace is also a famous place for autumn leaves. The best time to see the autumn leaves is usually from late November to early December. There are benches nearby, and you can spend time leisurely forgetting the hours. And this is the palace in winter. Even in the chilling Kyoto, snow does not accumulate often. Please visit the palace with rare snow makeup. To those of you who have watched this video, I will tell you about a special place on the east side of the palace. That is Nashinoki Shrine. The shrine's sacred water, Sumai, is one of Kyoto's three famous waters, and it is the only one that still exists without drying up. You can also drink it as is, and many people visit every day to draw water. A coffee shop using the Sumai water has opened within the shrine grounds. Look forward to that video in the future. Now, after enjoying the palace stroll, hold a girls' meeting with college friends at a nearby Gazio Onjetsu. We had Kaiseki cuisine. The origin of Kaiseki cuisine is the simple meal that training monks ate, and Sin no Riku developed it into a friendly cuisine. Ah, I don't always indulge in such luxury. It's special because I met my friends after a long time. Now, cheers! Both the girl talk and the alcohol liven up. Every dish is very delicious, and the alcohol progresses unintentionally. I got a little drunk drinking unfamiliar sake. The course ends with water confectionery jelly as a sweet, but I also had the shop's recommended bracken rice cake, warabimachi. Please forgive me as I will diet from tomorrow. Now, let me tell you the access method to the palace. At Kyoto subway station, take the Karasuma line bound for Kokusei Kaken and get off at Maradamachi station. Go up from exit 1, and you will arrive at the nearest Inamakaiguchi gate immediately after passing the bus stop. You can enter from here, but I recommend the Sakaimaki Gaomen, which is more central. Thank you for watching till the end. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. Drop your comments below about places you'd like to see or enjoyed. I, Shizuku, will keep assisting your Kyoto trip. Stay tuned for the next video.